That live report concerns about a deadly fungal disease that's rapidly spreading across the country with cases right here in Massachusetts. Western news reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in the studio after getting answers on what's being done to prevent it. Glenn. Chris and Mary, Candida auris is a yeast that can enter the bloodstream causing rapid infections throughout the body. The potentially deadly Canada auris fungus has been found in 29 states across the U.S., including two cases in Massachusetts. And this has experts at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention concerned. Director of Microbiology Laboratory Teaching Services at UMass Amherst, Erica Hamilton, tells Western Mass News that people who lead relatively healthy lives have little risk of contracting the fungal infection. However, those who are immunocompromised or hospitalized have a different challenge entirely. The people who catch it are already so sick that it can be hard to determine what you're infected with when you're already so critically ill. Once Canada Oris enters the bloodstream, it is hard to detect as it goes on to cause infections throughout the body. Hamilton says while normally fungal infections are treatable, Canada Oris is able to resist many forms of available treatment. There aren't that many antifungal drugs on the market anyway. And the ones that we do have are not working as well as we would like against this particular fungus. And so it makes it really difficult to treat. Efforts are now underway to stop this fungus from becoming a widespread problem in the Bay State. Occupational health and safety nurse Christine Pontus tells Western Mass News screening patients at hospitals and other health care facilities could be the best way to keep infection counts low. If we can screen patients in, um, and isolate them to when they come in, if there's any signs of it, and uh, that would be one of the breast protections. While the fungus is being mainly found in hospitals, the CDC advises simple things like hand washing and good hygiene practices are viable ways to keep the infection from spreading. Reporting live in the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.